it's the AI risk realists who are super well funded and it's the tech companies that are fighting back against these dominant doomers. Um, what is the reality of the funding picture for uh, risk realists and risk deniers? Yeah, I mean, it is quite staggering, honestly. Um, if there's lots of money, I haven't seen it for, for, for people who are worried about these risks. Um, I, uh, yeah, I think at most, like, there's probably about $100 million spent on, like, all efforts towards, like, safety and policy and governance of AI systems that are more advanced. You know, they're looking at the timelines, they're looking at the trajectories of everything, and they're like, we can widen this gap. We'll, we'll take the dollar figures and let them keep spreading apart. Like, it seems... Um, absolutely insane. But these are like, these are corporate finance meetings where they're sitting around figuring out where to spend the bucks. And I guess just safety doesn't have a voice at that table. Yeah, I, I think that's basically right. I mean, safety to the extent it does often will be focused on like, you know, more like mundane concerns and not to say that there aren't like real risks in the present to be clear. But I think, um, you know, they're not thinking about these like sort of like existential catastrophic concerns um and i think uh yeah i mean for comparison like jeffrey hinton right like like the most civilized like you know, ai safety um scientists out there says that ratio should be about 50 50 so you know 50 percent making sure that these systems are safe and 50 percent on like actually building them um which just like shows how out of whack we are where it's like yeah, more than 100 times to get um, right and i i even i hear him say 50 50 and i'm like is that if they started at an even start, like now where one is way ahead, it would almost seem you'd need to be like 2080 to be anywhere reasonable. Right, right. And and yeah, and, and also like on that number as well, on the how much is committed to like safety stuff. Like I think I wrote that in like sort of late 2023 when OpenAI was like, we're going to commit 20% of our resource to like safety. And like subsequently, yeah. as we found out, like that is a very watered down commitment. Um, so even I would guess like, you know, that was me being optimistic on the 100 million. Like that's, that's like, yeah, much, much less than um, those capabilities. So. And so what is the real world impact of that funding delta? Like what, you know, we, we can look at it and I don't work in an AI lab. I, I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, that's horrible. That sounds ridiculous. There's no way the $1 could ever do anything to the 250. But like, what does it really do? Yeah, I mean, I think it just means there are like many promising like organizations, many promising people who are like earnestly trying to make this like problem uh, better, uh, who just can't do that work because they need pay, they need like salary, they need support. Um, you know, we're talking about like people who are working with governments, um, you know, small civil society like think tanks up against like yeah, billion dollar um, companies who are like you know, heavily lobbying them. Uh, it means like these people who are like doing this like technical safety work are in like the dozens. Like, you know, the guy in his first lab is like, oh, uh, we just got a report that a model is scheming. Um, we're really worried about it. Uh, I will call the president. Uh, president, uh, our model is scheming. We need to shut all the labs down. President calls the next head of the other lab and the other labs like, uh, no, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. We can't shut it down. It's fine. Whatever, 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 blah, blah, blah. So, to, you know, what, what are your thoughts about this unbelievably ridiculous process they um, have put out there that like, we're going to notice something bad, blow a whistle, and all the countries and companies are just going to stop on a dime that day? <laughs> Yeah, no, it is. That is like a really good question. I mean, it, it, that's the one thing I'm like, as you described, like, we'd love to see. And like, we're doing everything we can to get to that world because we're obviously not there right now. Um, so it's essentially, yeah, like, um, I often think this is like a lot of boring stuff, a lot of basic, simple, easy stuff. We're not talking about like cool, exciting or difficult research. We're talking about like, basically, like, you know, who in OpenAI um, needs to email who in the UK government? And how do they escalate that up the chain of commands? How does that get to like, center of government in the uk yes yeah. and then if they get there okay now what like presumably the president's like okay shall we have a plan for this well we need to write that plan in advance so that they can deal with it they can't write the plan on the fly they need to have a plan um, and then they need to enact the plan and people need to know the plan and so a lot of this is like super basic stuff that we can do right now so as you deal with it in the british government uh does the fact that it is not a real today thing diminish its chances for success from governmental response yeah, I mean, I unfortunately have to say, I think, yes, um, it is really frustrating to be like, you know, it, it, again, it's like, imagine the 2019 and say, well, we think there might be this pandemic and saying, oh, it hasn't happened for 100 years. Totally. So it's all hypothetical. And and it like, was like a word they talked about on the news. It was like, huh, you know, pandemic. What is that? That's right, a news right. word. And, and, and even like the worst damages of climate change in 2030, 2040 
assuming AI isn't this big deal, like would in fact like you know be seen as a hypothetical today? Like, oh sure, you've like done all this climate modeling, you've done all this research and analysis, but like right. where are like the massive extreme hurricanes and like right. thunderstorms? Exactly, like, like sea level rise is hypothetical, right? Until it's happened and then it's too late, and so it's like yeah, you know, it's, it's hypothetical and then it's like, too late, and there's like you need know, to really convince people that like no, right now is the time. Um, and like the other note on the whole preparedness stuff is like if we're wrong if this stuff is way off or never happens at all like there's not really much lost there's not much cost here like we had these plans and preparedness if this event occurred and oh it didn't happen well that's great like that's just like fantastic right. like we're not really like stopping innovation we're not stopping like all the positives that ai can bring it's just saying if things get, take a turn for the worse let's be ready